Ultimate Castle Knight has the most amount of threats in any Final Freddy's game ever, having a total of 56 characters. However, if you know anything about Final Freddy's, you know that there are a lot more characters. So in this video, I'm going to be going over every single character who wasn't included, explain why they maybe weren't included in the first place, and then come up with an idea for what their mechanic would be and how it would affect the overall night and say 50-20. For this video, I will only be covering characters that have appeared in games before Ultimate Castle Knight was released, so I won't be covering any characters from the Security Beach era Final of Freddy's. I also won't be covering FNAF World, so sorry about that. But anyways, without further ado, let's get started. Final of Freddy's 1 has a total of 6 characters and 4 of them made it into Ultimate Castle Knight. The only 2 characters who didn't make it were Golden Freddy and Endo 01. Now, you may be saying that Golden Freddy is an Ultimate Castle Knight, and I'm just tripping. However, that is FNAF 2 Golden Freddy, or as he's more well known as, Withered Golden Freddy. Or you might actually just say he is in the game, since you can death coin Golden Freddy at level 1 AI, and Fredbear jump scares you. However, I would view these characters as separate rather than the same character. Golden Freddy from FNAF 1 and Fredbear are different characters. Well, technically, look at the purple hat. However, real nerds will say he appears in the final cutscene. Okay, this is based off them appearing in the game, nerd, not the cutscenes. Anyways, with that out of the way, let's talk about why FNAF 1's Golden Freddy wasn't included. Well, I think this is pretty easy to predict. Since With the Golden Freddy was included, it wouldn't make much sense to have a second version of Golden Freddy be in the game as well, considering Golden Freddy is just a golden version of normal Freddy. Although, personally I prefer FNAF 1 Golden Freddy's design to Withered Golden Freddy's, but anyway, what am I talking about? Now, for a mechanic, I have an idea or two. FNAF 1 Golden Freddy is most known for his poster on the West Hall corner, and this camera technically exists in Ultimate Cast tonight. So, for his mechanic, I decided to try and keep it as close to the original as possible. However, I will be changing it up a tab. So here's the idea. If Golden Freddy spawns in your office, you need to go to the left hall camera and find the Freddy poster. Once you find it, you need to click on it until it turns to Golden Freddy. If you fail to do this in time, you die. I think this is a fun idea, and in terms of how it would affect the 5021, this could make or break your run. Basically, Golden Freddy would just be another Rockstar Bonnie, where you just need to hope he never shows up. I think he would definitely be one of the harder characters for that reason. But overall, the Golden Freddy we got in the game is pretty simple, all things considered. Now, before I move on to the end though, I actually have one more idea for Golden Freddy's mechanic, and I actually like this one way more. In Ultimate Castle Knight, with the Golden Freddy has a pretty basic mechanic. Whenever he shows up in the office, you can either flip the camera up or put on your mask. So let's make it so that if FNAF 1 Golden Freddy shows up, you have to flip up the cameras, but if it's FNAF 2 Golden Freddy, you need to put on the mask. I like this mechanic a lot more, since it fixes a problem I had with FNAF 2, which is that the mask is just a mindless task that you don't have to think about, and the mask in Ultimate Castle Knight is very similar to this. So this would mean that you need to give some more brain power to the situation, and it would make the gameplay a lot more interesting, but in terms would make the game a lot more difficult. Also, to compensate, the kill timer would have to be up so you don't get unfairly killed in like one second. Now onto Endo01, who honestly I can completely understand not being included in this game, since they are just a background character. But for this video, let's give him some love. Now for a mechanic, I want to take his backstage camera render from the first game and make it a bit more interesting. So here's the mechanic. If the camera starts to fill with static, it means that the Endo is starting to stand up, and you need to look at Endo01 on the camera to reset him. If you fail to look at him in a certain amount of time, he will come and kill you. Now, this mechanic would only activate if you're on the camera for a certain amount of time, so you wouldn't get screwed over by quickly flipping up or down the camera. So I feel for 5021s, nothing would really change unless you stay on the camera for a long enough period of time, let's say like 5 seconds. But anyways, that's FNAF 1 done, let's move on to the next game. Final Freddy's 2 has the most amount of characters in any Final Freddy's game to date, well besides the one that we're covering. But surprisingly, most of the characters are here. Out of the 15 total characters in this game, if you include the easter egg characters, only 4 aren't actually included. Those characters are Withered Freddy, Withered Foxy, Shadow Freddy, and Endo 02. So for this section, we will be having some fun. Let's start with Withered Freddy. Withered Freddy in-game has the same mechanic as everyone else, and isn't very interesting. And considering there's already 3 characters who use the mask in Ultimate Cast Knight, 
it makes sense that not all the Withers made it in, even though I feel they should have. But let's make him a bit more interesting to have him fit. So here's the idea for the mechanic. Wither Freddy will stick his head out from one of the two duck openings, and when he appears, make sure to put on the mask before he kills you. I like this mechanic since it allows the ducks in the room to actually have a use, and with this, I want to go over my idea for Withered Foxy's mechanic, which is a character who 100% should have gotten in the game. And his mechanic is the same as Withered Freddy, except instead of putting on the mask, you would need to flash the duck he's poking his head out of. I think this would make the game a lot more challenging, as you would have to stall Nightmare BB in case he appears on the side of the room that Nightmare BB is on. This would be an evil combo, but one that you could win with careful planning. For Shadow Freddy, for why he isn't in the game? I guess because he's an easter egg character, although I personally like him more than Shadow Bonnie and I think he needs to be included in more games. For his mechanic, I would make him a secret character just like Shadow Bonnie, but instead of blacking out the office, he would block out the cameras, having his face appear on the camera and making it impossible to see anything. I think this mechanic would honestly not make a difference to experienced players, since the camera's visuals just don't really affect the gameplay all that much. Now for the last character, we have Endo 2 another secret character. Now like Endo 1 it makes sense why he wasn't included. And for a mechanic, this was a bit difficult to come up with, but the mechanic I did end up coming up with was quite simple in practice. Endo 2 will be crawling through the duct system and will need to be pushed back with the AC. If he makes it to a closed duct opening, he will break it, allowing other characters to make it through. This mechanic is quite simple, but I think it could be effective considering that you mainly use the heat as it off the duct and the AC doesn't have much purpose outside of Nightmare Chica. But with that, FNAF 2 is done and we move on to FNAF 3. Now for Five Nights at Freddy's 3, there's only really three characters and they are all Phantoms. Phantom Chica, Phantom Puppet and Phantom Foxy. Now, for why they aren't in the game, it's pretty basic. All the Phantoms in Ultimate Castle Knight have different mechanics, and it's hard to come up with different mechanics for six different characters. But let's try and come up with some. Let's start with Foxy. Let's make him have the same mechanic as he does in Phantom Freddy's 3. Phantom Foxy will slowly fade in from either side of the room similar to Phantom Freddy. If you look at the side of the room he's on when he fully appears, he will jump scare you. Phantom Chica will be a simple one. If you see her face on the camera, you need to switch cameras or else she will jump scare you, similar to Phantom BB, so literally exactly the same. Phantom Puppet will be the exact same as Phantom Chica and Phantom BB, except that he will only appear on the Death Coin camera and will do a full 17 second jump scare like in the original game if you fail to switch cameras. Overall, I don't think either of these characters would overall change the game that much, it would just be a minor inconvenience to the overall flow of the night. But there's not much more I could say, let's move on to the next game. Was that the bite of 87? FNAF 4 actually only has one character who isn't in the game, and that's Nightmare Foxy. So for Nightmare Foxy's mechanic, we gotta make it interesting, and I think I have a way to do it. I would like to make the idea that certain officers could have custom animatronics, and in this case, we will talk about the FNAF 4 office. In the UCN FNAF 4 office, there is a closet just like in FNAF 4 itself, so let's give Nightmare Foxy the same mechanic as in FNAF 4. Throughout the night, Nightmare Foxy will peek out of the closet and you need to close the door when it does to block him. This mechanic would be very very basic, but it would completely change the gameplay as you would have to make sure that you are watching the closet at all times. And with characters like Nightmare on that can block the cursor, this would be a really tricky mechanic to deal with, but I think it would make the office gameplay more interesting. And you could also do the same like watching the hallway thing, but I don't think that really works for this game as well. And I guess you could also apply it to the other offices, but I don't know, I like the idea of a custom office. But anyways, that's it for FNAF 4. Moving on to the last game on our list. So this location has the most number of animatronics who weren't included in the Ultimate Custom Night roster. And here's the list, Funtime Freddy, Yendo, Biddy Bab, Electro Bad, and Mini Rena 1. Now despite the fact that there's a lot more characters, I think that the mechanics they have in Sister Location Custom Night can actually apply to Ultimate Custom Night. So this section is not going to be very large, and this is where the Sister Location section ends, because we're just going to say that the Sister Location Custom Night mechanics are going to flow over to, you know, Ultimate Custom Night. 
I think it could work quite well. And with that, we have covered pretty much every single character that wasn't included in Ultimate Caster Knight, since every character from Pizza Rea Simulator who was worth being there did actually make it into the game. Now up in the roster from 56 characters to a whopping 71. And with that, I ask you to tell me in the comments what you think the character's mechanics should be. I would love to hear your thoughts. Also, if you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you liked, subscribed, and shared this video with all your friends. Thank you so much for watching this video. This was a lot of fun to make, and I'll see you in the next video.